Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. So in this new lesson, we'll learn how we can add some of like albedos to these rivets, these screws on the top, and also how we can bring our existing uh, uh, like spray paint or like like uh, like a stamp or part whatever we did that spray paint in the last uh, chapter four. Okay, so first let's work on the albedo of the rivet. So I will add here a blend node and then I'll go back here somewhere and I will choose this and this. Okay, or simply I will take this part from here, Alt, click it here, and then I will add this here. After that, I'll need some rivets, uh, like sort of a uh, mask. Here are those rivets mask. The one that we used before, let's see. Do we have that here? Uh, no, this is not the one that we created. Where is that? And where it should be this is the one no not the one where it's gone let's find it okay so anyhow we got it here is the one i'll take this one okay alt move all the way up Alt here. Alt here and then put in the blend. Okay. It has applied it here. So what we can do is that I can take this part, add a transform. Double click it here, click it here. And I can change this tiling mode to none, but I'll keep it as it is. Okay. So that it will, I will make it smaller and it will affect all these parts. Okay. Otherwise, if I will make it no tiling, so I have to put it here uh, on each one of it and then it will not make any sense. Okay. So I'll just make it smaller, try to put it here somewhere. And then it will make more sense. So we got the rivet. Okay. In reality, it looks like that. Now, what we are going to do, just add a frame here. Okay. And turn it to red and call this. Rivets albedo. So we are done with this. So let's move this part and let's go back to our. Let's save this one. Let's go to old graph and let's bring that uh, spray paint effect that we did in the uh, in chapter number four. So let's see where is that spray paint. Here it is. So I will use old thing. Here, okay, this, 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 and this. Rest will see if we need it. Copy this, okay. First of all, let's see what is the blending mode. First, copy. Fine, I'll copy this one. Control C, go back to my box locker. Okay, come back here, paste it. And one more thing I want here is to right click view output in the, in the 3D viewport. Okay, so it will get back its stuff. Locker, make sure uh, to go to material, locker, edit. And change the scale to three. So we'll get back all of our details. Now here, what I want is that Press shift, move this here, 
and take this one and put it here. So this is what we were looking for basically. Okay. But let's see where it's gone. Oh, it's here. And we want it to be here. So what I'm going to do here is double click it at this part. Take this. Make it smaller. Okay. And let's see where's the part. Here it is. So we can put it here or if you want you can put it up here just next to this part well i think it will be too heavy there so we have to balance it we have to balance the design otherwise what will happen is that all the weight of the design will go up so principle of designs don't keep uh, everything uh, at one spot you have to balance so I'm balancing it now with the weight okay so the weight of this is a little higher because this is black color weight of this is a little uh, lower but they are more in quantity so it is uh, it is balanced with the number with the quantity and the weight okay so we got it here and let's save it i hope you have learned something uh, from this video so thanks a lot everyone for joining this lesson and i'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and i hope to receive your continuous support i have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but have not subscribed to my channel yet so please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications uh, that i'm about to create i will be uploading soon those uh, new content and if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions then leave them in the comment section below and i will answer them as soon as possible one one request i have and that is i have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them so please if anyone is doing that and if you find someone doing this then please stop them because this will never help to get uh like this will never help me to get my hardware paid off and it will demotivate me so I don't want to stop making tutorials for you all therefore help me to get new subscriber uh subscribers and i will take off now everyone and take care guys till we meet in the next class stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training is there's one important announcement i would like to make i have started three great membership plans on my channel i have introduced zdi friends membership plan which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments I have also introduced ZDI Early Bird Plan, which will give access to Z Interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZDI Premium Plan, which will give access to advanced professional tutorials, which you will find it very, very expensive outside. And I will be giving this at a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television. Oh, 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 oh,